welcome again to my channel my name is Bronwyn this is Bronwyn's Cove Tarot it's really good to have you here especially if you're a new face and if you are a returning face also it's really good to have you here soul family um, get yourself comfortable you know how my reads go um, know that my readings are for entertainment purposes only make yourself uh, comfortable and familiar with the legal disclaimers that I have down in the description box please now it says here camera reminiscing keepsake perception learning from the past and making memories so somebody somebody's either i don't know if i'm getting learning how to use the camera or somebody's looking at photographs somebody's looking at photographs i need to put it out okay because that one just dropped out it threw itself in front of me i'm also getting though that there is an energy around you or there's an energy around the collective that is stopping someone from the past from creating um almost like another cord or another bond even like an energetic bond you could have dragons around you at the moment that's coming out quite a lot a lot of inner kingdom energies coming through that are protecting someone from having um these energetic attachments placed back onto their mind so it's like you know sometimes you have you may be doing whatever, doing the washing up, looking after the kids, working, and then all of a sudden you start thinking of someone that you haven't spoke to in a very long time. It's usually because they're thinking about you and they're pushing that energetic cord. So there is this energy of it being protected. Like whoever it is that's thinking about you, it's not getting to you, it's bouncing off. I hit my hand really hard. So it may be really trying to force itself into your energy and you have this guide, this, this, energy that's stopping that from happening yeah because you've got hammer upside down it's stopping some sort of sabotage from coming in it says sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive persistent and working on it so it's stopping this energy from coming in and kind of pl planting a seed in your mind of maybe i should i should reach out to them or we had a really good time or, or we left it on the wrong foot and then this person tries to call you and you're like, oh my gosh, I was just thinking about you. It's because they're pushing their energy in some way towards you. <clears throat> Did you want it there? Okay. Please know that if I use pronouns, I'm just picking up on energies. We hold both divine masculine and feminine energy. And if you wish to give it a gender, you can. You don't have to though. So just don't make the story fit if it doesn't. You've got I like you. So yeah, there's someone trying to push into your energy that likes you. Someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting and wanting to date. You may have somebody with past energy. This doesn't have to be someone from your past. This can just be someone with old timeline energy that is looking towards you or looking towards your direction. And you have a lot of protection right now that's just like, uh-uh, not happening. I heard you are gold or you're like gold, you're precious like gold. Your energy may be precious like gold. Your time may be precious but you have a lot of dragons a lot of like serpentine kind of energy around you that is not allowing whoever this person is people past people whatever from coming in yeah because look you've got cupid's arrow so someone may be trying to do a love spell on you they may be thinking obsessively of you as well you've got self-indulgence and it's coming out in reverse which says uh so they're not focusing on self they don't want you to focus on yourself they don't want you to heal. They don't want you to be looking to shadow work. They don't want you to appreciate yourself. Instead of this Cupid's arrow, they want you to have faith that love is coming, maybe in the form of them. Um, they're blocking your guides or this big protective energy is protecting you against a surprise invitation meeting or, and they're making sure that this doesn't come in. Wow, okay. How interesting. I heard we got you, boo, or we got you. Someone's guides have got you. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Something going on with my throat chakra. It feels like um, I want to clear my throat. Like this person wants to clear their throat. Yeah, this person with heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together and perfect. Okay, so your guides... And this big like dragon protection energy is actually blocking like old energy because they know that a new love is coming in or they know that there's a new start coming in and they don't want that to be sabotaged. You've got abundance, keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. 
So you've actually got someone else coming in. Yeah, because this past energy is a fake twin flame. It says yin to yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. It's upside down. And I'm putting this down where it says I like you. Tell me about Cupid's arrow. The runner and girl talk with butterfly underneath. So this person with Cupid's arrow, this person may have been a runner in a codependent relationship. They may have had or they may have a fear of intimacy and they listen to their ego. And girl talk being in reverse. Sorry, the light keeps shining on that. There you go. So this person has a tendency to kind of either isolate themselves or to isolate the person that they're in a relationship with. This person is... Mm -mm. Time with friends, because this is in reverse, right? So this is the lack of time with friends or moving on. This is the lack of being happy, happily single, living in the moment and having fun at all. I don't know if they're isolating themselves or if they just have a tendency to isolate the person they're in a relationship with. Because it says here, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So this person may not want you to meet someone or move on. Who is this person? I can't let go of you. I don't understand. So that's what I was feeling. And that's why you have got these energies stepping up. Just like you've done the healing that you need to do. You've done all the, you know, magical wards or prayer or affirmations. You've done your cord removals. Now it's our turn. Okay. Now we're just going to shield you from this past energy so that you can continue moving forward because you've put the work in. You've shown that, that you know, you've learned the lesson, that karmic cycle. This person is going to have to leave you alone. That's crazy, right? I am the man. So this person feels like they are the one for you, irrespective of gender. They feel like they are the person for you. And you've got, I wish to be like you. So this person may wish to have um, optimism or a, I had a sunny disposition like you. The way I have treated you was wrong. So this fake twin flame wants to come forward and be like let's let's try again the way that i treated you was wrong but this person i don't like their energy off the off off the start i do not like their energy because if someone tells you no or this is the end or i'm moving on if you truly like that person or you truly had like their best interests at heart you'd be like okay we're not supposed to be together and you just get i don't understand I don't understand. I don't understand why. But there's also this, I don't understand. Why is this spell not working? Or why is it that I'm... This person has um, a certain amount of understanding of like energetic transference and like magic and things like that. And they know that if they're thinking of you constantly, you should be thinking of them. If they've done a, like some sort of love spell... They're assuming that you should be coming like, I don't know, you should be opening up your energy to them and you're not. If anything, it's not that it's been locked down. It's more that you have more protection around you. So you're still able to, you know, act freely and go upon, upon your life, not living in fear. But you have a thicker wall of protection around you. And they don't understand. They don't understand why they haven't been able to they don't understand why they haven't been able to get through to you because it says i can't do this right now with the girl talk upside down so this person may be a bit depressed if i could go back in time i would handle us differently i'm afraid to lose you the thing is that i don't think this person realizes is that any opportunity this is this is what's coming through so please your stories are going to be different of course but any opportunity for this person to come back, I think I feel like the window's already closed. This window has already closed. And they're not taking this no for, as, a, as an answer. They're not respecting boundaries right now. Let me see what this one says. 
I don't understand what you see in me. I don't feel attractive has come out. This I don't understand. I have lost faith in you and cannot see a future with you anymore. Whoa. So this person, this person, I am not getting that this person wants a second chance. I'm getting more that they want. There's something here about dominance, wanting control, wanting something back. They want something back. And it says here. I feel alone and in the dark. Where is my light? So you are the light. You were seen as the light. That's what they can't let go of. It's not you. It's the energy that you brought. Because this person may not even realise that they're being slightly, not even slightly, they're being, they're being an energy vampire. They're being vampiric here. And it says, this wasn't in reverse, right? So this is the, the reverse of, I feel unworthy of having love in my life. No, they feel like they do want that. And they do not feel miserable or lost. They may feel alone and in the dark, but they also feel like they are the person that should be with you. But they are, they want, there's something about being around you. Being around you gives them something. What is it? What What is it that they get from being around the collective? Oh my goodness, that was a lot. I don't feel guilty for the way that I've treated you. So the thing is as well is that we have one card that says the way I have treated you was wrong and then I don't feel guilty for how I treated you. My ego is too big to care. So this person wants to say all the, the right things to get back with you because of something that you can give them. Because of something I, for something I could, why, am I kept, why do I keep hearing because of something I can get from you or something that you were giving them. And I'm just seeing light. It's like, it's your light. It's your golden light. I knew I was losing you, but I didn't do anything to fight for you. And this other card that came out. Bruh. It says here, this connection bores me to death. I need something more exciting. This person has a lot of narcissistic tendencies. I'm not a therapist. I can't diagnose anyone. But this person seems to just like... I feel like they flip from thing to thing, looking for something to fill up their void. This is why you're being protected so flipping fiercely right now, so fiercely, is to keep you away from their energy. Because it will block you. It will block something from coming in. You've got the Queen of Wands in reverse. This is like a block sacral chakra. And then you've got the Emperor underneath. It will block you, it will stifle your creativity. Five of Wands has come out. I was looking at the last row when I pulled out the Five of Wands. This person's in conflict or there's some sort of burden that they're carrying. I feel like this person has imaginary arguments with themselves. They have some sort of argument with themselves. Pretending you're there or pretend it's almost like they want to get in contact with you only to argue with you. Like the way I have treated you is wrong, but, but... At the same time, I don't feel guilty for the way that I treated you. Because they saw cutting you out of something as a victory. They saw ghosting you or doing something here as... They didn't care. Yeah, you got the emperor coming out in reverse. This person is ungrounded or they're very quick to anger. Ten of Pentacles came out though. So the thing is... With, why do I keep saying the thing is? The thing is... This is what this person's saying. It's like they're practicing in front of a mirror. Well, the thing is, this, this, this and this. And then, then I would say, and the thing is this, this, this and this. Why are they practicing a conversation? Oh my goodness. Tower. Because they want to come and confront you. They want to confront you. That's why this person's being blocked from your energy. Because they're only coming in to try and sabotage what they can no longer have. <coughs> I'm hearing the song um, Golden Hour by, what's his name? Jake. <clears throat> She's got glitter for skin, my beautiful radiant light. This person is a proper vampiric incubus, succubus, whatever you want to call it. A 
can't let go of you. I thought alone in the dark. See, the thing is, I'm doing it again. It's channeling this person's energy and the way that they talk is terrible. I feel alone and in the dark, but what I'm channeling is I feel alone in the dark. Where is my light? Where is my light? You're like a torch to them and you've evaded them. You've moved away from them because they they don't want you to be as empowered as you are being empowered means that you have boundaries they have something to say about this they they have something to say about this they really are not enjoying that you have sovereignty that you have empowered yourself that you speak your mind and this there there is there is something pushing me towards Whatever it is that you say to speak your mind is actually going to remove you from some sort of betrayal. Because this person is, they're figuring out how to come forward with like a fake apology or here's some flowers, here's some chocolates. Let's sit down and have a talk. I was so wrong. The way that I, I treated you was so wrong. And this person in their head is like, I can't give a flying F. I just need to get them in the right position for what for this tower what is the tower what is the tower king of swords in reverse to the eight of cups this person wants to pin something on you this is like um what i hear revenge corn you you hear of you know people splitting and then one of them is extremely vindictive and they will put sometimes um revenge corn of either them sleeping with someone else or them filming the person they're no longer with without them knowing and then you know send it to their work send it and it's really really nasty and i'm getting the energy that this person wants to get you back it doesn't have to be revenge corn um <clears throat> it doesn't have to be that i'm saying corn because if i say the other one i'll get in trouble with um, youtube it doesn't have to be that but there is definitely this energy of trying to like shimmy up next to you to pretend to be your friend to gain some sort of trust and then then they want to do something to embarrass you or humiliate you and it's not just that it's something illegal okay let's find out what this illegal thing is yeah this person is very quick to temper be aware this person is very very quick to temper and if you did know this person, you may already know that. There's obsessive, controlling energy coming through. You've got the Wheel of Fortune coming through. Then you have the Four of Cups coming through. This person's fighting something. They're fighting something. What are they fighting? Queen of Wands. They may be fighting with the Queen of Wands. You've got the sun in reverse. This person slept with a lot of people. They've slept with a lot of people. Why is that necessary? I'm hearing why is that relevant? It's because I don't know if this person is silently right now fighting um, either a custody battle or they're fighting having to pay child support because they don't think that that child is theirs. But it says, I am the man or the woman or the he, she, they, which means that's their child. What's going on here with the three of cups in reverse this person this person may drink when they get angry yeah they drink when they get angry and this person is in conflict and they they're, they're vexed because you haven't taken an offer or you won't let them back into your energy and it's making them struggle the wheel of fortune being there to the to the victory card of six of wands your victory comes from ignoring this energy i feel like this person does things dramatically they may be doing things yeah you've got look someone's ex they're doing something here to catch your attention because any attention for them is better than no attention it's like a child who will act out because they want some sort of attention and they don't care if they're being shouted at or consoled as long as they're getting the the attention this is a major dysfunction um i don't know they're doing something with their ex or they're doing something with who, who what are they doing with their ex knight of cups to the ten of cups so they may have got back with their ex 
to kind of sidestep some sort of legal issue it may be money wise it may have been cheaper for them to move back in with their ex because they're working on something here there's a lot of arguments in this house or there's a lot of arguments about money about children about money about not being able to work together you can't stay get out then come back king of pentacles this person may have lost their their, their business they may be trying to shimmy up next to you to see if you will give them like a cash payout or a, like a cash injection into a business that's failing or they may wish to give you money into into what they think they see as a failing business maybe they think that your business is failing how strange you may have given them the cold shoulder you may have blocked them rigged games is coming out as well this person or their ex or the mother or father of their children um if they have children may do freezer spells to slow people down yeah, and you've got the tower coming out. So they may have concocted this plan together. Yeah, they've concocted this plan together. They're arguing about the first time they tried doing this and it didn't work. Something illegal, something that's got them in trouble with the law. And that you sidestepped this. You were able to remove yourself from some sort of issue that should have put you in jail, at least. And I heard, but it wasn't your doing. It wasn't your doing. And this person started to see a lot of chaos start to grow in their life. I'm talking about whoever your ex is and whoever their ex is or, you know, mother or father of their child or children. Um, because when you removed your energy from them, when you started like setting healthier boundaries and pulling your energy away and your guide started stepping in as well, this person started to get a lot of issues with the law, a lot of issues with debt, a lot of issues with bailiffs, with... Um, bounty hunters if they need or whatever it may be warrants out for their arrest things that they had hidden from before and maybe even hidden from you started to throw themselves at at this person and it's because you took your energy back you were no that person was no longer in your energy this is why they feel alone and in the dark or feel alone in the dark because your light was protecting them your light was protecting them from their own ill karma their own ill energy butterfly effect exactly upside down they felt like they weren't getting the bad hand of karma when they were around you so they want to siphon that some more you have dreams so this person may have been trying to push really hard to get into your dreams very very much so and they're cross that they can't they're blocked from getting into your mindscape completely blocked from getting into your mindscape if you have been dreaming about this person you're being encouraged to ensure look you've got forbidden fruit coming out in reverse that you are setting your intention um, before you go to sleep. Set your intention with your guides with what it is that, it, they, that you want them to do. You know, I invoke my free will and giving you full permission to protect me across all realms when I sleep. And if I astral travel, only take me to places that are safe. I do not wish to have X, Y, Z in my energy. Frog march them out and kick them out. They're not allowed in. Be very detailed with what it is that you want in a very authoritarian way because your guides will listen and be like right we've been given a job let's get to it and if you've been dreaming of this person then you won't be dreaming of them no more but you've got to believe in what you're saying and you've got to believe in your own sovereign like authority of what you're saying skeleton closet soul hive, and sexual healing came out they got something there's something in their closet that they're hiding about um, some sort of relations that they've had that are not of the highest and greatest good for themselves or people around them. Maybe with karmic. Maybe they're going to try and say that you did. Oh, maybe they're going to try and say you did. With sexual healing coming out. Last one, please. Okay. Yeah request is upside down this person's been blocked or you're being told to block anyone on like social media if you have social media that um 
you haven't spoken to in a very long time there's a need for someone to go through their social media and kind of go through all the friends and see the ones that you made friends with because of business and networking or the ones that you made friends with because it was right at the start of you having your ig account or having your facebook account or whatever that may be but you don't actually speak to them and there is a need to cull off a lot of those and have a look to see if there's any friend requests and if there are like if you if you're getting new friend requests now especially from people that just vibrate like they're pulsing old timeline energy shut that ish down shut it down shut it down shut it down because that means they can't look at your pictures this person may be looking at your pictures now you know that and i get the ick from this person i get absolute ick queen of water this queen of cups energy has been coming out a lot you know and it says tender-hearted empathetic patient and loving relationships develop to a new level trust your intuition care for yourself and others but you have someone who's hiding in this energy their ex or the person that they've had children with the person that they're still sleeping with or sleeping on their sofa this person comes across as a queen of water but it's this person could be a mother or a parent or they obviously are here but this person is a liar the way that they um portray themselves is not who they are it's not who they are i heard take care of your heart problem or take care of your heart space take your heart pills take your meds someone here needs to take their meds remember to take them it's important like it's okay not to be okay as long as you are get, gaining support for that oh my goodness where did you go we've got here nine of fire yeah don't give up protect that which you have created have courage and believe in yourself that's always a tongue twister for me and look what is on this card a dragon there you go so this is even messages coming in from someone's dragon dragon i was gonna say dragon guides and i had dragon guards knight of earth loyal dedicated honorable and kind time to buckle down and get things done honor your commitments a guardian angel I'm telling you you've got a guardian angel here in the form of either a dragon i had an elk someone's got an elk spirit or an elf spirit coming through anything else that we need to know i feel like you're being told to buckle down and not allow the distractions of this person who is trying their hardest to get back into your energy to distract you from the work that you're doing and whether that is the work that you're doing creatively or shadow work because you're being told full circle again you know to the start your guides have got this you are being protected of course still do your spiritual cleansing and hygiene and stuff make sure that you're doing your smoke cleansing or spraying or whatever it may be praying do keep continue doing that but know that that's all you need to do because your guides have got you they literally have got you because you've got justice in reverse it says fair and just decisions do what you know is right stand up for your beliefs is in reverse this person is trying to subdue your i heard your righteous rage or your sacred rage your warrior's rage why an eight they want to weaken you this is also when we look at tarot the strength card this person is trying to take away your resolve to do something because someone someone else is definitely coming in and i think the reason why we don't focus that much on the new or the person coming in is because this is important as in this person is not important in your life this person who keeps trying to come in and like grab hold of your energy but what you do with this information is where you focus your energy is how you move forward definitely is because then that is going to open up other doors for different choices on what path you want to go to to meet this new person or to you know because all doors all roads they do they, they why can i not speak they will send you all home you will all go to the same home all paths send you home but it's whether you wish to go on ones where there is um arduous i heard treachery that is unnecessary or not and i this person may speak very quickly like i felt like i couldn't get my words out quick enough like i was holding my breath trying to get it out <sighs> there's something that this person is stressing about big time there's a lot going on here there's a lot going on here they are going to keep trying to push into your energy because 
you are lucky they see you as being like a lucky charm if they can get you back into their charms into their like charisma and their riz and all the rest of it then they feel like they're gonna get look ten of earth they'll get everything back again the wheel exactly time of positive change a situation suddenly moves forward fortune is on your side a very happy family life financial security find magic in the little things in life this person wants to get you back because if they can get you back in their race in their charisma in their enchantment of some sort it means that they get access to their children there's something about either sleeping on this person's sofa or being kicked out or they don't have like um a secure place to live at the moment they don't have a secure job there's there's something about being like moving from place to place to place to place and if they can get you back then they get that groundedness they have a they have a center or a base they can have a family their happy family life again this isn't about you being part of this family life this is you about it's you bringing in the stability that they need to build that family on you bring in positive change and the 10 at the top it's the end of some sort of comic they see it as some at some sort of end of a karmic cycle for them but unity is upside down this ain't happening it will block you it will unground you traditional viewpoints or methods spiritual organizations seek out mentors or like-minded friends this will actually like i was saying before it will isolate you i don't know if when you were with this person if they isolated you stopped you from seeing your friends gave you responsibilities that were too much to carry especially like with the ten of burdens being here the ten of wands to the five of wands here you may have missed a lot of opportunities a lot of like auspicious growth opportunities because you were in a relationship with this person two of water a relationship that continues to grow closer forgiveness the positive resolution of a conflict so that's what they want they want this they want you to forgive them and become subservient maybe you were in the past maybe you were an over nurturer an over giver an overachiever an over worker and they got to sit back and do nothing dream is coming out here a leap of faith follow your dreams unexpected opportunities these things started coming in for you or they will be coming in for you because you closed that door you closed that door to that chapter of your life queen of air independent experience realistic and witty objective decision making clearing away all that no longer serves you seeing the humor in the situation wow and you've got seven of fire in reverse defend your beliefs and decisions stand your ground choose your battles wisely so they look and you've got the x coming out again this person doesn't want you to do this they're going to string you along though i heard don't take the bait or don't swallow the bait what is the bait what is the bait wrong deck i've been told this is the wrong deck What is the bait? I heard they will try to reach you. But you'll be earthed or you'll be grounded. You'll be grounded in reality. There's no illusions here. This person is going to try and contact you or bump into you. They may have been looking for your address or looking for where you live now. And they don't know where you live. They may have your parents' address or like your old address. They may have tried sending flowers or, I don't know, coming over with some sort of gift, but you weren't there anymore. Look outside your house, I can almost hear you shout down to me where you always used to be. And I miss you, yeah, like the desert's miss the rain. This person is looking back to like a time when they thought things were simpler. It's just because you, you over nurtured them or there was a wound within you that you've now healed that made you um, had overbearing or suffocating or like a helicopter mum, dad, whoever that may be. And you have the eight of cups They and you've got judgment. They know that getting back with you will give them such good judgment. It will give them everything that they want. But there is some sort of soul tie that has been burnt. It's been broken. A bridge has been burnt. 
burtoned. I wanted to say broken and burnt at the same time. Burtoned. There has this bridge between you and them, this cord between you and them has been burnt and broken and it's not going to be re re rebuilt. Even in this card here, there is fire behind her or it looks like fire, right? Tell me about this tower. Tell me about this illegal tower. What is the illegal tower? What is it that they were trying to do? What's the illegal tower? Okay, magician. It really is just to do with um, five of wands wanting to give you something, give you an offer that they feel like you can't refuse, but it is the last laugh. This is them getting back at you. How silly is that, right? They want your energy. They want to have like this, um, this solid foundation. Oh, but then they want you gone. <coughs> Excuse me. This is them. They want something from you that gives them solid foundation. And then they want you gone. Because I was thinking, why are they coming in playing like petty revenge? But then they want your life and they want stability and they want you to play house. They want the house. They want the stability. They want the light that you can give. And then they want you gone. Wow. Because then they get out of some sort of stress, some sort of five of ones that they're in by getting your material wealth to something. They want you to sign something. They want you to sign something. You've got, they want control here. The four of swords in reverse. This is exhaustion. This is not sleeping. They want you to rush and sign something. Well, that is dumb. That's very dumb. That's why they keep working on this love style. Anything else before I go, please and thank you. What was the bait anyway? I've got the King of Pentacles. So the bait may be um, like a job offer or a proposal to work together. That's why they were trying to friend request you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it will be legal. This legal sitting down, signing of contracts, but they're stressed that you're not going to do this now. They are stressed because whatever that tower is that they wanted to give to you is still going to happen to them. It's still going to happen to them. And that's why you're being told by these dragons or by these elemental energies, do not take the bait. This person coming in and being like, hey, I know I messed up in the past. Let's just be business partners because I know you're really good at A, B and C and I'm I'm, I'm really good at getting things done. Um, I don't really have the, the, um, the know-how in that area, but I know how to do this thing. We can do that together. Doing that will discredit you. It will do, it will throw, if it doesn't put you in, in prison, it will put you in jail and it will tarnish your reputation. And that's what they want. They want... You look, you look the high priestess. They want some sort of energy from you. They want what you can create. Eight of Pentacles is coming out again. I'm going to leave it there. I really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel and this resonated, I would love you to hit on the like, the subscribe, and on the notification bell so you can see more of my content and when I post. If you are a returning subscriber, soul family, hearts, kisses. I love you guys. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.